Okay. I think this time it should be working. Ah, all right. There's a chat and everything. All right. So this, this live stream is going to be up afterwards. So I'm just going to get right into it. But just wanted to let you know, this is my first real live stream since like 2020 or 2021. These are just kind of like watch parties for different events. So it's been a while. I've done a couple over on Twitch. So if you are, uh, I actually did one last week on Twitch. So my goal is to do, Oh, wait, this oh, one. shut up. So if you go to Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash Tadis Petra, you should be able to see me there a little often. So yeah, five days ago, I guess I named it testing, testing, even though I was doing something for real anyways. Um, yeah, chess working. So here's what I wanted to make this video about, uh, on Twitch, like I showed you there, I was working on my website, which is built in Svelte kit. And I wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on why I'm not using flutter web for websites, kind of the history of what I've learned using different sort of frameworks and basically just my experience with them and when I would use them and why I would use them. So I have a little list of stuff that I want to cover over here. Um, my goal for this is like, not for this live stream, just in general, I'm planning to live stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, either on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, the difference will be whether I know what I'm doing or not. So for this, I'm just talking about stuff that, like experience, so it can go on YouTube, but on Twitch, I was just remembering how to spell kit works and everything. So that was there, but let's get into it. So this is my site tadispetra.com now don't judge it because it's it's definitely ugly i i know uh i it's built in svelte kit and i mean look at that like that that's that that's a mess oh, the camera doesn't look too good either oh should i block that off nice um so yeah i know it's ugly i don't want any any judgment in the comments oh look at that that's fantastic <laughs> but um yeah it's just, it's a work in progress. So the reason it's so ugly is because it's built in Svelte kit. I learned Svelte kit in like two or three days. And, and then I built this site in like less than 10 hours, probably. Um, and so the reason the history of this site is it first started as a flutter web site. I kind of was just playing around and wanted to see what flutter web was capable. If you can actually make an app that goes online and I built my personal portfolio site in flutter web, obviously it wasn't, it wasn't anything great. I didn't spend like that much time on it, but I built it in flutter web. Then the reason I switched out of flutter web is because as hopefully most of you know, flutter web doesn't support like SEO or anything like that. So you want people to find the site on Google. That's eh, probably not the best not the best framework to use for that, especially for stuff like this is, this has, this has blogs in it. Again, ignore the format. I know it's ugly. It's going to be better. I swear. But like this, this wouldn't be found on Google at all. I mean, it's probably not found right now either because it's not optimized, but besides the point with using flutter web, like it wouldn't be, it would just wouldn't be possible. So I switched to using a no code tool. I think it was, Webflow, if I remember correctly. And I rebuilt the site with Webflow, which was cool and everything. I enjoyed it. It actually wasn't too bad to build, but then I decided that I wanted to like have control of the code base to actually code with it. So I rebuilt my site again in Next.js. And then that site was there for like, that was the longest, longest streak. I think it was there for like one to two, years, definitely at least a year. It was built in Next.js and I didn't do that much on it either. It was just kind of chilling there for a little bit. And then finally, recently, I decided to rebuild again for the fourth time using Svelte kit. So we know why I switched from Flutter web, right? It's just not good for SEO. It's great for making applications, but for websites, I, I, I haven't used it since the very beginning and the very beginning I was just playing around with it. That's why I used it. And I actually have two sites right now. So this is my personal portfolio site. It looks like crap. Cause I mean, I, I just don't, it's a work in progress and I don't really care right now, but here's the other site that I've, I've built. Uh, and I've, I've built with like big quotes around it because 
this is there's this next tailwind next Jest theme that you should check out and it's an open source project that's very popular and it's like it's really good for a blog site so if you want to control it you can fork this and that's that's right i forked it and then i customized it to be a, like my own a little bit and there's still a lot of customization to use and stuff but this is built in next yes so the reason i went for my portfolio site to be in svelte kit is is honestly just because i wanted to and let, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Next.js and, and Svelte and what they are. So, you know, Flutter Web is, creates like uh, a package and, spelled hungry wrong, chief. <laughs> no, that's just, that's, that's just how it's spelled. Um, so Flutter builds an app and then launches on the site. And it's like, uh, I'm not sure the details of it, but I'm, I'm sure it's similar to something like React. Uh, or Svelte where it builds like just an app pretty much on your website that you can access. Now that's that's great and all that works, but has a very similar problem to Flutter in that like it's a lot harder to do SEO. And I think React might have something. I'm not sure, I'm not a React expert or anything, but um, yeah, you still have all the problems of it's basically just an app on a website. So there's React, which is the most popular one, which, which most people should know or probably have heard of. And Next.js is its server-side rendering like framework built on top of React. So what this does is kind of what the name says, it's server-side renders the site and then pushes the actual like HTML code and everything to your website. So if we, if we open this up, we should see yeah, body, div, headers mains like everything you would see in a normal website is like here so this was written in like in spelt right so it should be like almost like an application but instead it just sends it over so it's html code it gets processed by the uh by the google and everything so it's able to get indexed it's able to get searched and it's able to get found and I see a comment, yeah, so there's a very similar thing. So you have React and then you have Next. Then there's this other framework called Vue. And then there's Nuxt, which is the same, it's very similar thing to uh, React and Next.js. So framework and then server-side rendering framework. Um, and then Svelte is the actual framework. And then Svelte Kit is the server-side rendering framework equivalent of it. So that's why I used something that's not Flutter web because of that server side rendering aspect. And it's just like, it's built for web. Like Flutter is, is nice that it works on web, but it's not its main target. Its main target is applications, mobile apps and stuff like that. So uh, these these frameworks and everything are built to be fast and run quick on the, on the server. Actually, I'm, I'm curious now. So there's like a, can I do lighthouse on here? Oof, all right, hold on. Let me check something real quick. So there's this thing called the lighthouse score. Mm, whoa, 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 what the heck? That's not what I wanted. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, all right, anyways, inspect. I don't remember the shortcut for this, but so on Chrome or Brave, you can go to this and then you can get a lighthouse score. So this basically analyzes page load. So it runs a test and basically checks how fast or how good your website is. Now mine should be probably not too good, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe, actually I don't really know, but like I haven't done any optimization for that. And look at that, yeah, performance 63, accessibility, best practices, like that's, not great, but like not terrible. Like SEO, I haven't really done many things. Performance 63, like this is a very bad website. You shouldn't have a website like this to show off a portfolio unless you don't care like like me. Um, hold on, let me bring the chat back up so I can see it. But if you check my other site, so this is built with Next.js with that framework that I told you, with the open source project that I told you, it's a lot, Obviously that one has all the things in there, so it should be 
pretty good. Let's see. Look at that. So 100 performance, SEO, fantastic accessibility. Could be, I mean, these could be a little bit better due to probably some implementation stuff, but as you can see, like these are pretty good. With Flutter, I think it's it's very this SEO like will probably be close to probably close to zero. There might be some SEO stuff, maybe I'll get a little bit uh, more than zero, but it won't be that good. So that's why I use some. You should use some framework built for the actual thing, unless you're just building an app that you want to run on the web. That's a that's a scenario where Flutter Web's like perfectly fine. But if you're looking for something SEO related, it's it's not a good solution. So why did I use SvelteKit for this? Uh, so SvelteKit is a much newer one. It's I think might still be in beta. Uh, so it's a riskier thing to bet on, but I really like how it works. So let me let me show you why I dislike Next.js and why I like Svelte. All right, so uh, here's so here's Next.js. This is what Next.js code base looks like. This is like a a main file for it. This was not even bad. This was not too bad either. All right, so this is what a file in Next.js looks like, and. If you're like me, you could probably tell already why I don't like Next.js. It's just messy, in my opinion. There's a, uh, you basically export, uh, what, what are they called? A component. So this component is home. And then inside of it, you basically define all this, all this stuff. And to me, it just like, I mean, it's a lot better than creating whatever is created here in basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But like, this just does not look good, in my opinion. And it performs well, everything's great with that, but just the development aspect of it is not as fun. So if you go to SvelteKit code base, this is what SvelteKit looks like. So let's go to the index. SvelteKit similar concept it exports a actually let me go to a better example mm, yeah so it exports also components not exports may, might not be the good word but you basically build with components so components same thing as like in flutter they're like widgets but like little pieces of thing within the website so the way swellkit runs it the way it works is you define your scripts your javascript at the top your HTML in the middle, and then your styles at the bottom. Now, uh, if you saw with the, I should probably open it up in a new window. So this one. So you saw this one's using Tailwind. So all these little CSS things are within here. I just recently added Tailwind to this site, and I think you should be able to see it. Uh, where did I do it? index uh, maybe I didn't I feel like I did blocks oh header no <laughs> oh yeah so so tailwind here you go so I added in I mean it's very very minimal obviously uh, intro section here it is so very minimal stuff. Um, you can pretty much ignore this because this is just the other sections that I didn't, I didn't get to. I think I even removed it. So, oh no, how does? Whatever. You could just just ignore this um, because it's just I, I did this part with Tailwind, this part without Tailwind yet. But when this one's done with Tailwind, there will be no styles here. So, all you need in a component that you're exporting is your JavaScript up here and then your actual component. That just seems so much cleaner to me than what Next.js is doing. So that's why I went with Svelte. And even though 
Next.js has a couple of features that Svelte doesn't. I still believe that Svelte is just, not believe, I just I just think Svelte is more fun to work with. And since the My Portfolio site isn't necessarily like that big of a deal for me, I'm not looking for a new job or anything right now. It's not like a priority for me. And I feel like it, even if I was, like I'd just be like, go check out my YouTube instead. And there's no, there's no need, like all, all the stuff that I work on is live on here. So that's why my portfolio is not that important to me. Um, so I'm just going to sell just because I enjoy more. So which one should you use? I would say if you're building a web app where SEO is just not important to you at all, you can use flutter web like this. There's nothing wrong with it. It builds good, uh, good applications on the web that uses the same code base as your mobile apps and everything like that. There's nothing, nothing necessarily wrong with it other than like SEO. And if you really need performance to be super top notch, those are the two reasons why I probably wouldn't use Flutter web SEO. And if you really need like really high performance, good accessibility, like all those features that you saw in the lighthouse score, like you want these numbers to be really good. then maybe you should use some sort of framework and Flutter web still getting better. I'm my like perfect in the perfect world i would hope that flutter web would have some sort of framework built on top of it similar to like svelkit next.js and nuxt.js uh i don't know the technicality or the feasibility of that but that'd be that'd be pretty cool because so then you could build like same thing as like react and next.js you could build an app uh in flutter and then server side render it and send it out to everybody else so yeah, that'd be, that's, that's a dream. We'll see if we'll make it there. If you want to follow along with this website that I'm building, I'll probably be doing the next couple of videos over on Twitch because I'm just, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not like a Svelte expert. So I just, it's a lot of me struggling and I don't want to put out videos on the YouTube channel where it's just me struggling for a long time. I figured that'll be like the little testing ground. Then once I'm comfortable with it, I'll come here. So here's a code base, Titus Petra slash website. You can, you can give me some PRs if you want to help out, or if not, I'll just be working on it here. You can track, track along with what I'm doing. And yeah, that's it for the, can you some link? I, I can try. <laughs> Let me see if I can get into the chat again. Uh, Studio. but I'll try to send a link and you can follow along and um, if you guys have any questions I can stay on for like a couple more minutes and answer them here's a link uh, did it post as a link yes but yeah that would be the dream yes a flutter web framework would be the dream but I actually kind of like Svelte in the sense that you do get to work with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is like what the whole internet is built upon. So you learn a lot about all those things. Uh, and as I, f I think it's definitely worth like playing around with it just to learn how the internet works. Cause Flutter is built like on top of that, uh, of that like internet layer, right? It still gets converted to HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Like it's important to know that type of stuff. and. The web is such a big thing. Hey, for just go, thank you for joining, but I'm ending it right here and uh, I'll see you guys either on Twitch or on here next time, whenever I have something more concrete. Bye-bye.